It's very brave. Oh. oh my God, my heart is going. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. Welcome to my Nissan 350Z. Today I'm heading up to Ascot, the wealthy part of the UK that isn't London but fairly near London, which is like the new London because there's a few nice cars around. And we're going to see what's out today. It's going to be a little bit sunny-ish, but maybe just cloudy. But I'm going to spend the full day here and see what we can see. Who knows what the day will bring. So I will catch up with you once I am there. So this is the Ascot High Street. I've already seen a nice classic American truck. There's a few cars parked around. Don't know if something's going on at Ascot. I don't know. Tunnel. <laughs> so here is Marinello. up on a typical British residential street and I can show you international viewers what a typical British residential street looks like. So we've got a Nissan 350Z, my one, with some bird poo all over it. I have to park under a tree unfortunately. We've got an EP3 Type R, a Morris Minor down there and Neil, I'm guessing he's called Neil, E46 M3. I'm not sure the colour code name but that's like an olive green. That's quite a nice first spot. Us Brits, we love our Morris Miners, don't we? <laughs> my great auntie had a couple. There's a course that's a bit low on one side like it's got a puncture. And this Chevy Tacoma's had a smashing time. I just missed a Ferrari 488 Pista departing Maranello Egham, the Ferrari dealership. Hopefully there'll be more of that. I've got my friend there, Munch. He will be letting me know what's going on. At least the in the 350Z made some noise, the Pista didn't. Ah, right. But before I get to the Ferrari dealership where we will be camping out, it's time for a quick word from today's sponsor, which is Y-Food. The convenience of Y-Food is perfect for the kind of video that I am filming today because I do not know if I'm going to be visiting a food place. So this will be my breakfast, but it can be lunch or dinner, and it keeps you full for between three to five hours. It is rich in protein, has 26 vitamins and minerals, and is lactose and gluten free so it does not need to be refrigerated. Now a lot of you have been asking what these taste like. This is the berry flavour. This one tastes like a strawberry milkshake but it's got a lot more substance so can be used as a whole meal. Very convenient and if you want to try your own taster pack with a range of flavours follow the link in the description below and use Adam10 for 10% off your order. Now let's get to Ferrari. So here is Egham Ferrari with a wonky number plate and the new F8 Tributo and inside the dealership we have four SP2s. We've got black, we've got grey with the silver stripe, we've got black with this heritage livery and red with the very brave baby blue wheels. It's a very Christmassy community over here. I don't know if they are carol singers or doggers. We might stay at this roundabout for a little bit. There's a white bus. Wait for it, wait for it, and see what we can see. Next one, we've got the Series 3 Jaguar E-Type. That is the V12 variant. All right, with the roof up. It's not quite warm or sunny enough. F oh, Mr. Look at that Rolls Royce with the yellow and black two-tone paint job. They've even got matching jackets to the side of their car and the wheels, very brave. Pip Pip, F-Type V6 Coupe in British Racing Green, Box to Berlinetta, also standing for beautiful, lovely. There's a Nissan GTR downshifting, oh he's a dirty one, <laughs> oh, I can smell that. Oh, he's looking to buy a Ferrari. It's dripping. So a change of scenery, I'm in an EP3, the one that was parked near me, and we're going to head to Ascot High Street because apparently there's a classic car, what is it? Auction. Auction. And that's where most of the classics that we've been seeing have been heading to, so we're going to go there and catch them there rather than here and see what else we can see. Great wheels. Hello. So this is the Ascot High Street. The auction is taking place up the high street, which is on the race course. Horse racing, not car racing. And here is the old Chevy truck that is kind of part of the auction. Oh no, he's trying to sell it near the auction. Maestro. So we've parked up just down from the high street. We've got a Mark II Ford Focus RS down from us with the Bentley behind it. We're going to go up there and see what classics and miscellaneous cars we can see. Well, that's a good start. Haha. <laughs> 
Right, so here is the Austin Maestro. Very good condition. He's probably parked up for the auction to see what other automobiles are for sale. We've also got the new Defender 110 parked opposite the road from it, but check that out. Don't see a lot of Maestros in this condition, just parked on the side of the road. It's not an S15, it's a Yes 15. Here is the auction, which we can just about see through the gate. Let's do some cheeky peeping. There they are. We can hear the auction taking place. It looks to be a Porsche tractor over there. There's a Golf liveried Fiat 500 and a lot of British classics. And the El Dorado has parked up on the side of the road. What's coming? What is it? Galado. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going in the car park. We should probably have a look at what's in the car park because we know there'll be a Galado Spider. So we're in the car park for the auction. We've got this two-door Jaguar looking very gangster. We've got this Mercedes 280 SE with white wall tyres still with the blue protection tape on the white parts. We've got the facelift Aston Martin DB9. We've got the AMG GTS. Oh, there is a turquoise 720S. Was it a spider? It was. There it is. I want to get a, at least a glimpse of it through the gates. Look at that. That was a nice colour. We've got an R8 spider. He is called Giannel. There's a Porsche 993 Carrera 4, even with Carrera 4 written on the wheels. We've got the Ford Capri over here, who's had his flow jab. And over here we have the Aston Martin Vantage Park next to the Ferrari 365 Boxster Berlinetta that we saw driving by earlier. That's a pretty nice combo of cars. We've got the Maybach over here. There's something very interesting down there. It's a, a Renault Safran. Safrain. And of course the Bentley Turbo R. Now down here we've got the BMW M2 next to a 997 and over there we'll have a little look at that. We've got the FH Spider. There we go, the bright yellow FH Spider. Of course in front of the F8 is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. And here is the Gallardo Spider that we saw coming into this car park. So that is V10 Ed, grey with the black wheels. Here is one of a few E46 M3s that we've seen driving around today as well. Oh, I just saw my peep my trousers. Uh, Have I got a hole? Yeah. <laughs> I caught them on this. I was too eager to capture content. Mm, the Golf's a bit of a sexy bee. The Amg is on the move. We've got an Onyx Range Rover wide body. Weird. I think there's just been an accident. He's got a flat tire and he's on the curb. It looks like evasive. There's another. There's a flat tire on the rear as well. It's just abandoned. There's no one in it. Oh, oh, oh I see. Oh, we found a Mustang in the no parking tow-away zone with vents that don't vent. Like seriously, there's a window behind the vents. There's a 903, a 350Z and a 997, but look, a white 350Z hardtop. So I'm back in the Civic, we're going to head back to Ferrari and we have found an early Aston Martin Vanquish of the lights. Very nice, very nice. It's a California IAT. I mean, I didn't film it, I was just watching it as it drove by. That's a Tron A45. I was just looking at it as it drove by. We've got a 488 Spider departing Maranello. <laughs> For a Z4M coupe and a C63. The RS4 is pulling into Maranello's with the Z4M coupe. <laughs> Scary. Oh, we've got some rivalry. We've got the Volcano Orange McLaren 12C. McLaren versus Ferrari. It's refreshing to see a 12C, you don't see many these days, it's always 650S's, 675's, GT's, 570S's as well. There we go. Oh, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. on. Oh my god, a Dodge Viper, is that an ACR? It is, a Viper ACR, we just heard this sound like, what is that? And my heart is going. Jeez, oh it's going down. Uh, <laughs> meow. Seen all year. <laughs> yes. Oh, the Viper's back. I think quite a lot of the cars we've seen today are here for the auction. There's like two people not belted in the back. Danger, danger. Obviously, in classic cars, if it didn't come with seat belts in the back seats, you don't have to wear them. 
and in the front seats. Now luckily we've got this barrier because there is a Mustang. Smart car packs speed. A Lincoln Navigator. That's wicked. What was that? Oh, it's the Gator. Ooh. We have the second McLaren of the day, a 570S with a spoiler, trying to resemble that of a 600LT. Still looking nice in McLaren orange with the matching seat belts. They are loving life. That is actually a official MSO spoiler on the back of the 570. Mustang. <gasps> We've got the 720S with a 570S again with the MSO spoiler and the 458 is back. Are they coming back again? Here they come. It's a Nismo 370Z. The McLarens have parked up outside Ferrari. We've got the RS4 Avant and the Z4 M Coupe leaving. The 365BB has returned. So the 365BB has the triple rear lights, the 512 only has two on each side. Black and gold, it's Hannah Montana. Wow, look at this, this is the widest GCR ever. That's insane. Jeez. Uh. on the Golf. So rude. Whoa. Yes. And a rev from the Astro. Go on M6. Floor it. Nice rack. Convertible. DB9 Volante off he pops. Not much. He has tried to spell player. So much danger about today. The Rolls Royce making that sound. It's not even that low. Ah, the RIP A45 is now recovered. It's a Bentley with a caddy body kit. We've also got the Gallardo Spider. Next we've got the M3 Cabriolet leaving Ferrari. Tron A45 is back, so we can get a better look. Oh, we can't get a better look at it. There it is. There it's not. There it's not. 111 Targ is bombing it. So I'm just going back to my car to get a coat because it's starting to get a bit cold and there is a Pontiac GTO in the petrol station. That's very nice. I get a picture of that for the gram. What a beautiful American car. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, oh, that really has taken me by surprise. There is a Ferrari F12 over there. It's beginning to get a little bit dark. The sky's looking lovely. It's turning into blue hour where everything looks blue. And I don't know what else is going to turn up. There's a loud G-Wagon and someone pretending to be Mr. Bean. There's a yellow Calibra. They've got some colorful parakeet pets. Where are they? They're like wild parrots. So we are back at the dealership. As the C63 Coupe pulls in and a Chrysler 300C limousine. Balling along the road. Oh, 
1230 heading out. It is blue hour now. <laughs> It's got dark now as well. That was pretty much that for this video. Now it's got dark. I'm heading off to, in fact, I'm already at another meet. So watch out for that. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Follow me on Instagram for all the updates and highlights about these meets that I go to. But for now, thanks for watching.